Hi, my name is Lynette Anderson. I'm a Wagamai woman from North Queensland, currently living in Townsville, and I am the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Health Lead at CheckUp. For the last 12 months, I've been working with the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander staff here at CheckUp just to ensure that they are feeling really comfortable um, within the organisation and helping with their transition from previous workplaces. It's really important that here at CheckUp we are providing and offering a mentoring program to ensure that staff that we bring into the organisation we keep uh, for, for the long term. Our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander staff really do bring a wealth of knowledge and information and lived experience to our organisation that allows us to ensure that we do become a more culturally competent and responsive workplace. Um, it's made me feel more comfortable having mentoring because of the fact that I know that there's someone there that I can turn to that um, has gone through the exactly the same thing that I've gone through, like coming into like a different organisation, different atmosphere. I know that Lynette has my back. Like um, I know that I can speak to her freely, like if I come across any issues. Um, and basically I know that we've got that like an inner network now where I can speak freely to the other, like not only just Indigenous people in the organisation, I can speak freely to anybody because like we're actually all on the same page. Mentoring also leads to upskilling, upskilling leads to um, succession planning, things like that. So I think the mentoring goes hand in hand with them. Um, I think it's essential, like it's an essential thing that all organisations should be participating in. Working with the has been great. Um, it's really made us closer and built a good relationship with us, especially being able to sit in the council office with her and having that one-on-one -on -one interaction all the time. I've learned a lot from Lynette, especially with my engagement skills. Um, we do so much stakeholder and provider engagement that sometimes it's confronting and she's helped build those relationships and make the transition and meetings very comfortable. The mentoring has made me feel more confident in my job um, because I've built skills and learned stuff about myself that I didn't know before and I know that I have someone to rely on if things do get tough or I need to talk about something. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are underrepresented in most workplaces and organisations across the country so anything that enables them to feel valued and safe within the workplace will go a long way in ensuring that they continue to contribute to the organisation so it, it really is a, a, a powerful strategy for any organisation. At CheckUp, we're committed to creating an inclusive and diverse workplace, and our mentoring program is one way that helps us to achieve that goal. We know that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander staff who come to work in our organisation can sometimes face unique challenges, and our mentoring program is one way of supporting them to work through some of those challenges. I'd like particularly to thank Lynette for her work in initiating this program and for sharing her time and expertise with us. I'd also like to thank and um, congratulate those staff who are participating in the program. Finally, I'd like to encourage other organisations to think about adopting a similar program. By developing programs like this, together we can build more inclusive and diverse workplaces.